Hello, welcome to my second video on YouTube where I talk about changing a cube into these cute four characters. Join me. Let's start. Uh, so I've taken the cube obviously which is already a default cube in Blender and uh, I have uh, I just went to the edit mode and picked the vertices top vertices and drag them up and then I go to modifiers and apply subdivision modifier and I put the value of 3 and then so now I go to the edit mode and use the loop cut tool to give a cut at the bottom so that it looks like a you know um, an ice candy from top or a popsicle so uh, now I make it a little bit more thinner because it's kind of spherical so I am getting close to the shape for the stick again I'm using a cube and adjusting the size bringing it down stretching it more increasing the size and I am pressing Z because I'm going to increase the size along the Z axis and then again edit and I'm also giving a, a cut at the bottom by using the loop cut tool and then another modifier previous modifier subdivision which gives it a little bit more geometry and then I change the size and make it a little bit more thinner like the ice cream stick so voila we have the ice cream almost ready um, I'm just going to give another um, cut at the top of the stick to give the shape and I'm going to save the file always remember to save your file blender hardly crashes when we are doing such light work but still in any software it's better to save on time so what next uh, now I'm going to probably make the eyes and uh, I'm thinking of giving this ice cream a kind of tensed look so yeah so I'm going to take the cursor and add another cube and then apply subdivision modifier which makes it almost kind of a sphere not a perfect sphere but uh, so this will be the white base of the um, eye and I've always liked big eyed characters so um, the, I'm gonna make it thinner so that I don't have a uh, like a round uh, so I'm comp copying it and making the pupil of the eye here so best part of blender cube is you can transform it, it into any shape almost anything so uh, yeah I'm gonna join these two for now I pressed you can press ctrl J or uh, you can go to object and then join so I have the big eye ready and then I'm going to apply another modifier here which is the mirror modifier which will just replicate this eye yep now I'm going to increase the distance between the two eyes and I'm going to push the eyes little bit inside I just press the grab tool G and you know move them towards the ice cream body and now I'm going to make uh, the I, I, by using the cube and another cube I'm going to press a uh, subdivision surface and I'm going to make the eyebrows and uh, to get the shape of eyebrows I again use I'm going to use the loop cut tool and uh, giving a cut in between And extending it here and then giving another cut so actually I am planning to make the mouth first and then I'll rotate it into eyebrows so basically same shape that I'm going to use for eyebrows and mouth and uh, I'm going to bring it in the front and uh, yeah it, it looks kind of cute already and I'm going to uh, just replicate duplicate the mouth into eyebrows so I'm just gonna name the layers and I'm going to copy it and make the eyebrows just make it a little bit more thinner I just want a worried look on the 
ice cream just to make it little fun i could have made a normal smiling expression but i don't know i think that's what is my you know feelings right now <laughs> just kidding so uh, i think uh, yeah a little bit more thickness and the ice cream is almost done looks cute now let's make the planter so in order to make the planter again i've taken i've just used a cube and i'm going to uh, go to the edit mode and then select the topmost face of the cube and press inset and make another face which is smaller to the topmost face and then delete it so that there is a whole kind of a formation in the cube and i'm again going to uh, go to the object mode and press subdivisions and i've got a planter like a structure already and i i press shade smooth and uh, i go to the edit option and by using loop cut tool i give it a cut at the bottom of the planter or in the middle actually and uh, just tweaking up the shape a little bit more and the hole is there little bit more tweaking so i just press the x ray a uh, button there so that i can um, you know select the back vertices for the edges or the faces and uh, yeah so i'm going to just scale it a little bit more and just see the shape name it as the planter and um, for the leaves again i'm going to take the cube and uh, scale it down I'm going to go to the vertex mode and make another loop cut here vertically and I'm going to select both the topmost and the bottommost vertices and scale it at the same time to give this shape and same I'll do it horizontally and uh, you'll be able to see that the leaf is going to be formed it's almost forming and uh, I'm going to again go to the modifier and or uh, press subdivision modifier and then shade smooth so the little trick that i do in uh, the leaf is yeah i'm going to first uh, take the vertices from the top and drag them and i will just give it a little curve from this side so that there is a bend in the leaf it does not look so firm like a paper leaf and then i'm going to uh, make it a little bit more thinner and uh, yeah that actually looks like a cute leaf so i'll just rename the layer and uh, place it here rotate it a little bit to give the look and i'm going to uh, press shift and d and duplicate another leaf here so we i have two leaves here and i'll name rename the layer and for the uh, stem of the plant again i'm taking the cube and uh, scaling it down to bring it to a normal size then applying the subdivision modifier and then shades <coughs> sorry shades mode yeah and renaming the layer duplicating the stem and rotating it for the second leaf scaling it down a little bit more and rotating the stem and this is somewhat looking like a cute plant i'm going to just make the vertices at the top and bring them closer to give it a little bit irregular kind of a shape and not a straight one this looks fine so it looks really small as compared to the ice candy and i'm just going to steal the ice 
from the eyes candy and uh, since mirror modifier had been applied i am copying the uh, eyes first deleting the mid mirror modifier placing the eyes properly on the planter and uh, then i'll mirror it again just tweaking it a little bit more making it smaller and uh, yeah that looks fine and uh, So uh, for the lock now, uh, again, let's start with the cube and this time I'm going to go to edit mode and select all the edges of the cube and then I'm going to bevel them by pressing ctrl B and simultaneously dragging my mouse to the level that I like and I get this beautiful shape with curved edges and again I press subdivision modifier with the values of 3 in the viewport and uh, in the render board and I'm gonna make it a little bit more thinner so that it looks like a lock uh, and I'll delete a previous shape that I was trying earlier and uh, yeah so this is something like a rock lock now I was saying a rock it's like a lock now So uh, now to make the keyhole, I'm going to make loop cuts again in such a way that I can cut away a circle and a rectangle so that I have that particular keyhole shape and I'm going to just delete the faces and I have a structure which how I wanted and uh, I'm going to just tweak the shape a little bit more so that it looks like a circle I selected all the vertices and scaled them and then I'll again go to vertice mode vertex mode and pick these two vertices and make them small I'm pressing S and dragging and then I'm taking these vertices a little up but no I think I'll select all these up and take the whole loop of vertices towards a little bit upwards so that you um, can cut a rectangle from here I'm just deleting a face actually then again I'll just make these vertices smaller to get that shape and from the side view I'm going to push these vertices in inside so that the shape of the lock is sustained I'm going to push them inside so I think our lock looks a little bit like a lock, lock now and uh, to make the upward portion again I'm using a cube 
and uh, what do you call that portion i don't know i should find that out so i am using the cube and uh, placing it here and i'm going to go to the edit mode select the topmost face here and press e to extrude it in the z axis so i'll get two cubes one each uh, one on top of the other and then i'll continue doing so to get my desired height and then i'm going to extrude extrude this face in um, x axis so i'm going to press x and then another loop here by pressing control r loop cut here and i'm going to select the face at the bottom and then again extrude it in z axis to get the desired shape and yeah this is kind of full applying subdivision here and uh, the values would be 3 and then pressing shade smooth bringing it down and now i am going to play with the vertices to uh, you know get the desired shape so i'll just fast forward that so we've completed the lock also yay now the last one is the cutest and my favorite which is the watermelon so let's start so i've taken the cube and then gone to the edit mode selected the vertices at the top and um, you know press the x ray toggle button and uh, scale them down to get this shape which could turn into a watermelon slice eventually and then i'm going to modify uh, applying the subdivision like all the models and i have a drop like shape right now but i'll use the loop cut tool to make a cut at the bottom and then scale these uh, edges and then again one more loop cut here and by pressing the vertices at the bottom i'll drag them down and give them a curve shape from the bottom we have this sort of a watermelon slice i'll just increase the thickness and again go to the edit mode and increase the thickness of the vertices at the top also so our watermelon shape is almost done and um, i'll steal the eyes nose not the nose eyes eyebrows and mouth from the planter So for the seeds I have again taken a rectangle and then made two loop cuts and given the shape by tweaking the vertices and then copying the seeds and you know placing them on top of the watermelon side so that's how all four of these uh, characters look and I kind of find them nice and happy and uh, yeah so i hope you were able to follow the tutorial with me and if you have questions you can comment down below and with this you will be able to make even more new characters by using the cube and this was the part 1 and for part 2 we will be uh, adding colors to the models thank you for watching